Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the bad image error 0xc 000012F that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So if you're coming across this error message, it's usually referencing a DLL file that could be corrupt. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward issue to resolve. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video, guys. Go ahead and copy the first one. It's a DISM command. So go ahead and copy that again from the description of my video. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. And once that first command is concluded running, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video and go ahead and run that one as well. Once it has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. Open up a web browser and into Google. And you want to go ahead and search for Visual C++ and into Google. And you want to select the Microsoft domain here. It says Download Visual C++ Redistributable. It should automatically begin downloading the file package. Again, this is from Microsoft's website here. Go ahead and open it up to run it. And then you want to agree to license terms and conditions and select Install. So this is already installed on my computer, but if it wasn't in your case, you want to go ahead and install it and just follow through the on-screen prompts here. This is the 2015 package that we have downloaded. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process on that too. Go ahead and restart your computer at this time.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.